There are so many opportunities here at the Institute for Molecular Engineering. What you really want to come in as a, as a new graduate student with is just an open mind and the idea of that there are a lot of possibilities. I'm working with Matthew Turrell and we are developing a peptide amplophile micelle nanoparticle system that aims to detect early stages of atherosclerosis. I work with Professor Paul Neely here at the Institute and uh, some of the projects that I'm working on are trying to understand how cells respond to nanoscale topography or small geometries. So we try to uh, create nanoscale topography substrates with small geometries that the cells can interact with, respond to, and study how the cells actually uh, would respond to that type of um, material, that type of, of 3D environment. I'm working with Professor Paul Neely and my uh, research project is to control the macromolecules which can be self-assembled to nanostructure. Here at the IME, I work for the director, Professor Matt Terrell, and the project that I'm working on is with a material called a complex coacervate. And so this is a material composed of, uh, in our case, biocompatible polymers that we're using. They create a dense phase, and we're hoping to use this to mimic the crowded intracellular environment. I think it's really exciting to be part of a brand new institute at the University of Chicago. Here you're able to work for a new type of environment that isn't bound by those restrictions, that they can adjust to where new funding levels are at, they can adjust to where new collaborations are at. It's been very exciting to be part of this brand new institute where there are constantly new meetings, new faces, and new collaborations. And I believe that will ultimately um, you know, allow us to form the right connections and interactions to solve problems that exist. On campus there are a lot of resources to do experiments on equipment that you wouldn't be able to have in your lab. There's a very good core facilities for things like imaging or analysis, but what's really important is um, Argonne National Lab is about a half an hour drive up the highway, and that really enables you to do a large number of experiments and opens up new collaborations with scientists at the National Lab. Uh, there's a, just a huge range of other types of research that are being done at the National Lab and resources such as the synchrotron that are incredibly enabling for research that you might like to do. And that proximity really allows you to do those kinds of experiments much more easily than if you lived further away. I think students should come with a very excited um, and willing mentality. And that's really all it takes is willingness, um, hard work, um, and just an interest in order to succeed in uh, molecular engineering. It's kind of a different environment compared to a large public institution. The uh, undergraduates are very engaged in the research and they know what's going on on campus. And as a result of that, they also want to be involved. So this is definitely a college where you can take advantage of the people, not just the professors and the researchers, but also the other students and the undergraduates that are here. The students should be uh, very creative to solve that problem. So setting a problem, uh, creativity, and skill to solve that problem is the key skills that uh, succeed in this IME. Uh, it's not really set with the stigmas of, of old engineering schools. To be here, you have to be able and, and willing to collaborate with, with people in biology departments. You have to be able to collaborate with people in chemical engineering departments and really try to fuse those ideas together that you're okay with working with uh, biological materials, you're okay with working with uh, electron beam lithography and trying to merge fields together and always try to have an open mind when uh, looking at new ideas and, and looking at uh, challenging questions from new perspectives. The University of Chicago's campus is gorgeous. Chicago is a great city to be in and I think with engineering now being added to the University of Chicago's many many achievements and accomplishments I think it'll really be a well-rounded place to work for.